Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Brixie and today I think it's finally time to release the latest UI I've been working on for XIV Party. Now, about two weeks ago, I released a video of like a work in progress. It's honestly, even today, still a work in progress. I have literally been working on this every single day since I uploaded that video. And part of the reason why I didn't release that version whenever I made that video was because, you know, and like I said in the video, that was a beta design. That is something that I knew was going to be changing. That was just like a general, like, here's what I'm working on. And I wanted feedback on that video, basically. And, you know, I thought I made that clear, but people were like immediately like, oh, can I have this? Please let me have this. And, you know, I didn't want to release it because I personally knew myself that it was going to change and it was going to change a lot. So the whole goal of that video was just to get feedback and I had some really good feedback on that actually uh, if we go to the first comment here from Genesis <clears throat> I had this idea as well I just I don't understand Lua so Lua is not a language I'm familiar with and I tried to incorporate this by myself and I just couldn't get it working but anyways they said it's really neat I would recommend you add a different shade of blue to your TP once it hits 100% that way you don't weapons go at 99 thinking it's 100 and you know that's a really good point and let me mute this to hopefully, you know, God forbid you have to hear my voice twice in one video. But when I, this is the first design of this that I released like two weeks ago. So you have the HP bar, the MP bar, and you had this down here below, which I have reverted. I no longer have this like this. This was the target bar. It would show, let me fast forward a little bit. So whenever you would target somebody, it would show the stuff on the bottom. And you can see the TP gauge was like a constant blue, which is kind of what they were referring to. And there could be a mix up if the TP was at 99%. You could assume that they were at 100% because there's no way to like tell the difference between 99 and 100 without just assuming, right? So that was also an issue I thought of and an issue I wanted to fix. So I actually posted on the auctionhouse.com. This is like the retail main site that everybody hangs out to. Or hangs out to you, hangs out at and I basically posted you know uh, the TP full color this is the thing that turns your TP text from white to blue when your TP is at a thousand or more that was already coded into the the XIV party so I was looking for a way if I could take that same thing that's already coded and apply that to the background for the bar that's constantly moving back and forth and at the time of release that was not coded and actually the creator of XIV party Tylus they responded and basically called me a scrub not really but they were basically saying uh, it's a bit too much explained here if you don't have much coding experience which I do not with Lua uh, HTML and C++ is more of my experience I have coded websites in the past so HTML and stuff I'm fine with, however Lua is not one of my fortes. So basically they said, I'll cook you up a solution in a few days and cool, awesome. Fast forward a couple of days and they did just that. So now we have a UI status bar and a UI bar. Both of these were custom made for this add-on and they were custom made for the specific layout that I was working on. This also works for all other XIV as as well as XIV Party Basic that they have made. You know, this applies to that as well, so that's cool. But that was really nice of Talus that they went ahead and made that for me. And, you know, I've had a couple of different versions of this layout that I'm working on. This was like one of the first ones where it has the TP gauge. And one of the you solutions I personally made was to just have the TP here at the bottom below your icons. And, you know, I wasn't a big fan of that, but that was, like, my workaround because I didn't know how to change the colors of the TP bars because it wasn't coded into the add-on, and I don't know how to do Lua to the extent of that. I can read it and change it fine, but as far as, like, actually coding and getting it working correctly, that's not something I have learned to do. But, basically, that was my workaround, just have the TP on the bottom. So, this was the new version I had where I actually, after they did the coding, I had it where the silver bar would show up if you don't have TP, and once you have a thousand TP, it would then become blue. And, you know, that was cool. But this layout was just like way too bright for me. My eyes are very sensitive to light. And uh, I don't know, I just, I didn't, I wasn't feeling this design 
I had the TP bar and stuff working how I wanted it to, but I feel like the the purple for the HP, the green for the MP, all of that was just like way too bright. And I don't know, it, it just felt off. I also, on the later versions, I took out the alliance bars that way, because I feel like it's just way too much screen space. And honestly, I don't play a job where I really care about the other alliance. I will occasionally cost them, cast them a cure or something. But you know, these other 12 people, honestly, they they have no effect on what I'm trying to do in the game. So I ended up removing this alliance. Now, if I was playing White Mage or something, which I do plan to play in the future, I might bring this back. But for now, honestly, I'm fine without it. So this was version two. And like I said, I've changed this again. So let me get rid of all these. Um, basically, uh, what am I trying to do? Okay, there we go. Right screen now. So what I've done is, let me zone out here and start attacking bats. So whenever you have low TP, your TP bar will be silver. And I, I kind of wanted it to be a dull color because I didn't want like a bright color in the background. So I went with like a, a basic silver here, and it's kind of hard the way it's coded to get a color of one bar to swap to the other because basically what the code does currently, it takes your base background and applies a color on top of it. So if I try to go with like a, a black color, it's hard to get black to turn into blue without it being super dark. So I ended up just using like this silver color and you can overlay a blue on top of silver and it will look fine. So that's the main reason why it's silver to blue here. And once you see that I have a thousand TP, my TP bar has now turned blue. That tells you that you have enough TP to weapon skill. You can then weapon skill, and once you do, your TP bar sets back to silver. So that's working perfectly fine now. I like that a lot better. I'm glad we could actually get that working. So Tylus, thank you for taking time out of your day to get that working specifically for my layout. That's freaking awesome. You are a beast. Thank you for also making XIV Party. I know a lot of people use it, and I'm sure a lot of people appreciate the work that you put into it, especially after you, you took the time to completely rewrite the whole plugin for adding like the mouse over and stuff. That's awesome. So one of the extra things I also did, since uh, the other layout I had, I think it was the AF bodies I had to differentiate the jobs, uh, I originally removed that for this layout, and I didn't have like any sort of indicator other than the main job and sub job here for the text but I found that like the later on the more I used it it just kind of blurs and blends together so I ended up adding the 14 job icons back just on the side here and for a full party just as an example here it would also show the jobs here next to your buff icons and again you can see here low TP silver max TP or at least enough TP or weapon skill equals a blue background so all that's working I feel like this looks pretty good it's visually like readable and that's one of the things I really like doing in layouts making sure everything flows and I'm picky as shit like I am super OCD when it comes to coding and designing stuff so even when I was making this video before I finished making this video I deleted my recording before and changed this layout once again so that tells you how picky I am but I think this version is something I'm satisfied with. It flows well, it reads well. Um, one of the things, cause the HP and the MP was too hard to read, I feel like, I ended up making it where it was bright on the left side and it kind of goes to a lighter version on the right. So that makes it a little bit easier to read on the eyes as well. You can see here, bright green into like a light green. So, you know, I've put a lot of little things, a lot of things you probably won't notice at first but yeah, I've, I've worked on this a lot. I really have. So uh, there's gonna be a download. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the description for you guys. This is ready to go out of the gate. Uh, it's gonna be called XIV Party Sleek. And to load it, once you load XIV Party, you'll just go to XIV Party Layout and then type Sleek. And that will put you on the new UI. So just download this version. Uh, you can feel free to copy the old version and put it on your desktop or something. That way you can have both versions. And then just throw this one in your windower and it should work fine. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope people use this and have fun. 
Uh, definitely feel free to use both versions that I've made. There's the basic black that I uploaded like a month ago, and this is the one I'm calling Sleek now. Um, yeah, enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You guys are awesome, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!